So thinking back, it was like hyper linear as far as what was going to happen with Logan and Vicky. Uh, first, Vicky had to ID, ID the fingerprints. Then Logan had to talk to the ghost using the name found from the fingerprints, which means no matter what, that was going to happen in that order. That said, they're not the one who gets kidnapped. The one who gets kidnapped is Eli. And that was my choice, uh, whether to tr take Mandana or Eli with me. So I assume that if I had taken Mandana, that she would currently be the kidnapped one, and it would be me going with Papa Jin and uh, Eli right now to save Mandana, I think. Speaking of which... Father, have you renewed your veil recently? I do not believe so. Ah, uh, well, perhaps you should renew your veil. Later, we have more important things to worry about. Mage Beckett and Galen are the task ahead. Anything else is trivial. You are not wrong. Is there somebody who wants to get him based on that wants to hunt him down? So that's the primary reason for a veil. Otherwise, it's just to cloud his appearance, and I think that she is hinting at that he should do it because he's a djinn, and he does look odd. But honestly, if I saw somebody that looked like that, with the blue skin in particular, and the costume, I'd be like, oh, he must be, like, in costume, right? Like, he's, he doesn't look odd enough for it to be like, oh my god, a dragon, or something like that. It's like, oh, he's a... He's a blue man. Okay, and there must be like a play in town or something. Or some other excuse that a normal human could e very easily justify the strangeness with. You're not the only one looking at Kalash right now. I'm down to count the cracks in the subway floor. The subway floor? I don't see any cracks. Oh well. And North Grove. Galen, you have requested an audience. I am here. Galen! Welcome, welcome, oh high and mighty Jin. As a welcome, it is a poor one. Show yourself. I cannot leave my grove, remember? You saw to that. But I have your pet mage. He is in good condition, mostly. Leave him be! Is that little Mandana? My, how you've grown. You were just a sapling when I saw you last. I grew up. That you have. You keep interesting company, Kalash. Come to my grove. We have much to discuss. She that sword. She is baiting you. We are here to negotiate. With all due respect, Father, words will not work with her, and you know it. Eli, stay strong! Madonna, stop! <clears throat> I blame her mother for this. Let us follow her. Those two clearly have a very specific connection, m more than Eli's generally willing to admit to, I think, with the bird picture and stuff. Do these woods always glow like that, or is it because your void touched? A brook of pure crystal water cascades into a little pond. A sprinkling of purple foxgloves. Kalash glares holes into you, urging you to move forward. Don't just stand there. He's not happy. <laughs> Eli, wake up. We're here. He's not responding. The vines. They are drugging him, keeping him asleep. No matter. I'll soon make short work of them. Yeah, that's about what I thought. <laughs> I'll soon make short work of them. Like, no, we're just gonna get caught immediately. Oh, so this is where the two paths converge. Whether you took Mandana or Eli with you, now they're both captive, regardless. Alright. Could go for the sword and the hat, potentially, if those are useful items. I probably shouldn't touch the vines, because they're just going to grab the rest of us. Don't just stand there. Alright, thanks for your help. A magic symbol is etched on the rock. 
Strange runes glow on the tree trunk. Eli is tied to the tree, unable to move. Mandana is trapped by vines. Can I get the sword? No. Seems useful. Is my only option to try the vines and then just get caught also, probably? Is that what we're going with this? It will take mere seconds for my pets to crush them to death. Can you free them in time? Galen, show yourself. Kalash, you've gotten old. I have evolved. You are just as petulant as ever. You expect me to be overjoyed to see you grateful? You took my forest and I want it back! Free Eli and Mondana, then we'll talk. You are in no position to bargain. What do you want, Khaled? What does anyone want from a djinn? I want a wish. You grant wishes, Kalash? Silence. The last refuge of a jinn who cannot bear the truth. My forest once covered this entire island. It shall be so again. That is my wish. Out of the question. Would you let your precious minions die instead? Ah. So when somebody doesn't want to, t when a jinn doesn't want to tell the truth, they can just stay silent. I can, I can tell her to just do what she wants. I do kind of have to question, I'm not one for advocating killing so far, but I'm questioning, I do want to question this logic here. You can turn New York into a forest, but you can't just kill her? I cannot. A Jin's power does not work like that. You want a wish, Galen? Then you must fight for it. Here is your wish, Galen, in physical form. As long as I live, it will remain encased in crystal. Face me in combat. Kill me, and the crystal will break, granting you what you desire. I have your daughter and pet mage at my mercy. Why should I bargain with you? Kill them, and your wish will never be granted. You will remain trapped here forever. What say you? Eli and Mandana wouldn't want this. I don't serve them. I serve the unavowed. I cannot let them perish. Not while it is in my power to save them. The traditional rules of engagement apply. They do. Then I accept. Let this man be the witness. It is done. Then let us begin. I am ready, Kalash. Whenever you are. If you are going to strike, then strike! There must be a way to interfere. Crystal made of pure light. Kalash peers I at Galen through calculating eyes. Centuries if need be. A statuesque woman made of vines and twigs. Is that a face? Having second thoughts, oh mighty Jin. Montana's sword lies discarded on the ground. Can I go with that? Or is this going to get I me in see. trouble? Your battle plan is to stare me to death. Can I have him grab the sword? I cannot. What happens if you I grab the sword? Not disturb the battleground. The rules of engagement must be obeyed. Okay. I'm a little concerned about the scenario, so I kind of want to save. I don't if know what the, what, what strike, the rules are here. Strike. Do I just click on you? Oh, jeez, that's neat. Like a toothless hound. All bark, no bite. That probably wasn't really her though, right? What? That probably was not really her. That was probably like a manifestation or an effigy or, you know, just a body she conjures. She probably is the forest, right? Really? A tree pun? Indeed. I've still got it. 
Regardless of what my daughter says. Now, to the business at hand. Freeing our friends. That's what I expected. Uh, you really thought I could be so easily defeated. Here, in my own grove. I draw my life from this place. As long as it lives, so do I. So tired so soon. Get up. Give me your best shot. Did he not think that this entire place was hers? Huh. So he, he I feel strange. Something is wrong. Probably. Let's get that sword. Yeah. Feeling dizzy, Kalash. Tired. What are you doing to me? Konya Makaladan. Have you heard of it? Hemlock. Yes, my own personal strain. Concentrated so densely it can even weaken the mighty Jin. Now get up, old man. I've been waiting centuries for this. Ah. Uh, Mandana's sword to tingle slightly at your touch. Flash does not look good. So I can't just attack, can I? Do not interfere. This is between me and the djinn. This has me all nervous. I bet you can destroy the crystal. But that would cause the wish to come true. It would potentially give her what she wants, but it would also... Uh... It would give her what she wants, but it would save Kalesh. Like, we're, we're given a choice here between breaking the veil and causing the forest to spread, or saving Kalesh. Uh, I mean, or letting Kalesh die. If that is a choice, because I don't know. It, they might let you sort it, they might not. It's tempting. It might be possible to free them from the vines. Hmm. I'm gen I'm super uncertain. I don't know where the story is going to go. I don't know how it's structured. I don't know what necessarily is or isn't a choice. I could click on that and just get the same generic message responses as before, being all like, whatever. Stop messing with things. Or, or, or I could click on it and catastrophic changes to the story happen. And I'm, I'm kind of interested in that. Is that a face? What if that's part of it? That's not an option either. All right, well we verified that. And I can't just cut these people down. Do not dare touch them. The rules of engagement must be obeyed. All right. I can't walk over there. I was thinking maybe I'll attack the face. Kalesh, can you attack the face? I cannot. I... 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 So you have to attack her, seemingly. This is... This is not going as planned. Yeah, I noticed. I... No, go hit it. Okay, can I go over there? I can't- I can't go over there. What- what am I allowed- damn it! Don't worry. With bed rest and plenty of fluids, the toxins will just drain out of your body. But you have to kill me first. Now get up and fight! I'm concerned. Uh, so they're saying she'll recover- he'll recover over time. But there's something else I have to do. And I have little, I have limited time for each attempt. Do not distract him. I want his full attention. If you are going to strike, then strike. I was trying to figure out how to do anything, really. Uh, I have the patience of the forest. I can wait centuries if need be. 
I have very little time to try each time. This time. You did not. You so did not. No, uh, uh, quickly, uh, cut her. Damn it. Ha. Stop. The rules of engagement, they cannot be broken. The rules of engagement? You don't know the rules. No, of course you don't. Here, take it. Quick. The combatants shall be known as Kalash and Gillette, Jeline. The prisoners shall remain incarcerated until one of the combatants is dead. Whoever deals the death blow shall be declared the winner. The winner shall have their wish granted. The winner shall have their wish granted. Oh, there's a real dark loophole here. The djinns are always so literal, right? Whomever deals the death blow shall be declared the winner. Whomever deals the death blow shall be declared the winner. The combatants are Kalash and Jeline. Prisoners stay incarcerated until one of the combatants is dead. Whoever deals the death blow shall be declared the winner. It doesn't say whichever... <clears throat> it doesn't say whichever combatant deals the death blow. It just says whoever deals the death blow declare, is declared the winner. And the winner shall have their wish granted. Whoever deals the death blow shall be declared the winner. The winner shall have their wish granted. But it doesn't say that the person dealing the death blow, which is the winner, has to be a combatant. It doesn't say which combatant. It just says whoever. That means I could deal the death blow. And then I get a wish. So if I kill Kalesh with a sword, I could then wish for him to not be dead. Right? I think. I hope. Man, you get stabbed I've a lot. I've waited centuries for this, Kalash. I've thought of nothing else but your death at my hands. Bonnie, I haven't thought of you at all. And now you'll think of nothing else until you die. Now get up. Jesus. Am I running out of time? Because I feel like I'm running out of time. Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. I told you. Oops, sorry. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I don't know how many swings I've got left in me. The, the answer might be zero. Oh, the terms of engagement. You found the loophole. Is there no other way? There is always another way. Perhaps we could think of some, given enough time. But time is a luxury we do not have. I cannot defeat her. That is the truth. So do it. We declare the winner. You will be granted one wish. Use it wisely. Through the neck, it is quickest. Hurry, before she reforms. So I just wish you alive again when I'm done, right? No, the wish will be powered by my death. Negate that, and the paradox could tear a hole in the universe. You will be given a great power. Please don't waste it. Oh, shit. All right, so he's actually going to die. And he and he he says as a fact that he will not defeat. He will not be able to win win this fight. So he's going to die. Uh that's not great. Man, uh, Mandana will never forgive me. She is my daughter. She will see the truth of it. What? Impossible. You cheat! That wish was mine! It's over, Galen. Fine. You won. Kalash won again. But this time, he's dead. I can live with that. What? She speaks true. 
father is gone. And good riddance, trapping me here. Did he think I'd stay quiet? I would highly recommend it. Fine, leave. You have your precious wish. Do with it what you will. Oh, boy. I wish for this grove to be one of peace. You will harm no one ever. I wish for you to be turned to stone. Let the park dogs piss on you. I wish for you to die, Galene. Die for what you made me do. There's some real spiteful options here. No, but the smart thing is to deal is to completely stop her from doing what she's been doing and not cause any needless damage. I wish for this grove to be one of peace. You will harm no one ever. Sweet, well-intentioned and futile. Yes, I remain trapped here, but your precious and avowed remains crippled. I consider this a victory. I will find a way out again. It may take centuries. It may take millennia. But I will find a way out. You would let her live? After everything? You would let her live? Mandy, Kalash wouldn't want... Don't you dare tell me what my father wouldn't want! Not even I know that! I am... sorry. I... No. No, I am not sorry. My father is dead. I want to go home now. Well, damn, that's a rough outcome. I don't think we're gonna have a happy talk today. Is she, or she's, oh. Nope, she's not training today. She just left Eli's room, so they were just having a talk that I'm sure was very, very fun to have. I'm thinking, like, I wonder, I'm guessing killing Klesh was, may have not been an option. I mean, whether or not you kill him. The wishes were a little odd. In the grand spectrum of wishes you could have, all of them are about her fate. No grand wishes about, like, fixing our problems or anything like that. I feel like... I feel like all three options were kind of our protagonist wasting the wish, honestly. The knife. Oh, right, that's the knife he was analyzing. That's what gave us the previous... the previous leads. He's trying to find new ones, now that our leader's gone. Eli gazes down at the knife, his brow furrowed with concentration. Hmm? Oh. Hi. I'm just... scanning the knife again. Are you alright? Me? I'm fine. I'm working. So, yeah. I'm all right. You're a horrible liar, you know. You're as bad as Mondana. <sighs> you really want to know how I feel? I want to burn the North Woods to the ground. Then, when there isn't a twig or weed left, I'll flambe that dryad like a fancy cake. Did I ever tell you about Alden, my great grandfather? Only that he was hunted down and killed. Yeah, he needed to be stopped, no question. I always wondered what made him that way. What made him decide that turning villages of people to ash was a good idea. He lived a long, long time. Long even for a mage, but he was still human. Maybe he suffered one loss too many. Will that be me one day? I don't know. Plenty of people suffer. They don't turn evil because of it. They don't because they can't. They don't have a mage's power. I do. I've lost a lot of people in my life. I thought I'd come to terms with it, but it never gets easier. Jesus, I'm making this all about me, aren't I? Poor Montana. Let's talk about something else. I, uh, just saw Montana walk out of your room. Oh, uh, 
You saw that, huh? Well, no point in denying it. So you and Mandana are... What? Oh, no, God, it's, it's nothing like that. Uh, well, maybe it is kind of like that. It's complicated. Well, maybe not that complicated. Just leave it, okay? No, it's fine. You guys just like to feed birds. Thanks, Eli. See you at the meeting? Uh-huh. Sure. She just needs time. Seems easy enough to give it to her. Yeah, well, I feel for her, I really do. But the whole operation was dumb from the start. That's hardly fair. I mean, I didn't know Kalash well, but he seemed to know what was what. He was cocky. He should have brought us along. We could have helped. How? She couldn't be killed. Not in the normal way. It's true. You couldn't attack her. She just regenerates re re infinitely because she was an entire forest. So the choice was destroy the entire forest north of uh, north of New York or die <laughs> or give her what she wanted, basically. You couldn't have stopped her. She was too powerful. You can't know that for sure. I'm just saying, numbers. We could have made a difference. Maybe, but wondering what if is like growing an orchard in the desert. You mean fruitless? Uh, yeah. My old sponsor used to say that. Jesus. Remind me to never quit drinking. <laughs> anyway, what now? We having a briefing or what? Remind me to never quit drinking or you'll get terrible jokes. Oh no. Oh boy. Uh, she says we don't know that, but we kind of did. Because... Uh, Kalesh knew more than basically everyone here, and he s had to speak it as a fact, as a j as a jinn. And he was like, I, I cannot defeat him, he's too powerful. And we don't have a large spectrum of special powers. We had, a uh, Eli and Mondano were both already captive. Uh, this guy can talk to ghosts, which the ghost itself can't do anything besides maybe write on stuff sometimes with foggy windows and you have a gun you're, you're gonna shoot the forest the whole forest uh, there's, there's no good outcome there I'll talk to Mandana you sure that's a good idea? you're the one who well, never mind you do what you think is best we'll be here, just call us when it's time one way or another, we gotta talk about this at some point. Not a lot of choice. I live here. It is strange. Father did not speak much, and yet this room feels so silent without him. Are you okay? No, my father is dead. I am not okay, but I believe I will be, eventually. His sacrifice saved us. He saved the unavowed, perhaps the city. Even still, knowing that does little to make me feel better. I wish I got to know Kalesh better. Getting to know my father would not have been easy, even if he lived. A Jin's mind is a maze, twisted and complex. Father was no different. Even I had difficulty understanding his thoughts. I suppose I am too human. So what now? The oncoming darkness still approaches, regardless of my personal tragedy. If the unavowed has need of me, I will be here. It is literally the least I can do. I, uh, saw you come out of Eli's room. Ah. Uh, I cannot deny it. What you saw is true. So you and Eli are... Yes, although not in the way you imagine. Eli and I are... Oh, it is so difficult to describe feelings when one is forced to speak the truth. Feelings are so messy and complicated. Once in a while... We crave simplicity. Eli and I give that to each other, once in a while. And last night, I 
needed simplicity. Please, let us speak no more of this. Did we start the meeting? Yes. It is time. You doing all right? As well as can be expected. Thank you. I have not lost sight of our goal. The demon still eludes us. But we've got a name now, right? What'd you say it was? Mel something. Mel Carissa. Great. That's something. So what's our play? Did you finish the scan of the knife, Eli? I was hoping you'd ask that. We got lucky last time. The demon's energy signature had degraded so badly, it was hard to pinpoint where it had been. But this time, I had its name. That made the scan ten times more precise. So you found more locations? Better. I pinpointed the point of most activity. The demon went all over the city, but there's one place it kept returning to again and again. I was even able to get an exact address. And that place is? 500 Metropolitan Avenue in Brooklyn. Um, your face just went dead white. Does that address mean something to you? That's under the bricks. The theater I used to run with Moray and Zack. Really? The place where you got possessed? And where two actors got murdered. Why would Mel Carissa go back there? Indeed. It does seem remarkably risky. Look, I might not know a lot about demons, but the whole returning to the scene of the crime thing, it's bullshit. It never actually happens. So what the hell is going on? The name Mel Carissa, has anyone heard of it? It is not a name I have heard of before. I did some scrying last night. From the bits I've been able to pick up, the name Mel Caressa is associated with knowledge. Knowledge? What does that mean? I'm as lost as you are. The scry is still ongoing. Hopefully it can tell us more. We should get over to the old theater and find out what's going on. Indeed. It is time we take the fight to the enemy. We are ready to depart when you are. Let's not waste any more time. Lead the way. Well, now, all right. Hero's journey is definitely happening here. You, uh, you get ripped out of your your normal daily life. There's a big call to action. There's somebody who who guides you on your new path, and then that person is struck down, and you have to continue on your own. Thank mm -hmm. you.